passed at home. Because <laughs> yeah, you guys started in 97, right? Yeah, something yes, like that. Yes, we joined in the 99. It's a very yes. long time ago, And I look isn't at it? Paul, I think it started somewhere from Metro TV, right? No, no, no. I actually came here first. I, I was doing radio, and uh, I came here to do uh, football, mm. the 1998 France World Cup. And so after the World Cup, uh, Mr. Bethia Pinton asked whether I would like to read the news. And I said, well, yeah, why not? So I, I started. It was, it was, it was a, a great time. We enjoyed it. Isa was here. Uh, we were talking to Amanda who is on Skype, who was here. Emma Morrison was here. Everyone and Setando was here. Was here. Yeah. And I was a small boy among, the, among the group. What's the name again? Setando. Uh, Emma Morrison. Charity. 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 Yeah. Was charity. Yeah, Charity. Charity. Was here as well. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. joined you later. Yes. Was charity. But because I was a, the youngest, I got to read most of the 1030 uh, bulletins. In those days, they paid us by Nobody the likes that. As, as a rookie, that didn't mean that's a punishment. <laughs> Nobody liked the 1030, but they paid us by <laughs> how, how, like how many bullets. Those of us who were not regular staff, they paid us by how many bulletins you read. Right. So by, at the end of the month, I had gathered quite a lot of 1030s. <laughs> and as a student at the university, so you can imagine, Gideon, you understand these things. Mm. You can imagine. But interesting, interesting, interesting interesting for you, you know, 1030 yeah. really got us all, you know, mm. into the session. Yeah, that was absolutely. where you actually cut your mark. You know, mm. you took your time, warmed yourself up into the, the main And bulletin, And, and you, know. it, you also it became more familiar with global news and the sure, rest, because it was, it was sort of like and the world news. Strange news. Yeah, actually, was news. I said I panicked on my first day. What I saw on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Years back, right? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> you, you also came with Israel. Later. Yeah, but I think you and Israel were the stars of the event. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Amma, can, Amma, Amma, can, you, can you see me? Oh, Amma, can you hear me? Yeah, so this is Paul Adamotri, your small boy, younger brother that you read the news with 20 years ago here in TV3. How are you doing, Amma? How are you? How are you? My God, I can't believe it's been 20 years already. Absolutely, 20 years. Everyone can see you in Ghana and they want to know, uh, what's your message for TV3? How did you get in in the first place? Ah, oh, amazing. I, um, I was working with, um, at the time, that was the Sunshine Radio, which is now known as Choice FM. And uh, um, the TV3 started, I think they were looking for people, and I think my name was given to somebody. I think they said there's some brother, same girl that's working on, a, on sun, a Sunshine Radio, so maybe you should give her a look. And I had a call, and uh, I went to TV3, and I was immediately, I was immediately taken. Um, I think, I, was it, was it, uh, um, I've even forgotten the name of our, our, of our pioneer, our pioneer uh, uh, managers, Azam, and... Uh, we were taken through, I was taken immediately. I was asked to do a few things for them, to say a few things. And then I was taken on a training course. And I think it was myself, Emma Morrison, and uh, Charity Aqua and Issa Money. Mm. We were in the first training course before uh, TV3 opened. That was in, uh, well, 20 years ago, yeah. <laughs> okay, so perhaps you're referring to Mr. Befia Pintin or Azimi Atan or Herman Nathan. <laughs> Asmiatan, as, yeah, Asmiatan with um, some with some um, heads from Malaysia, and uh, the heads that came from Malaysia with um, Asmiatan was amongst them, and um, um, that's when I was interviewed. And then when I actually started working, then Asmiatan had then relocated to Ghana, and uh, Mr. Bevia Pinting was also made the manager of the studio of the station those days. Yes. Let's talk about your fond memories because uh, we used to work very hard in those days, and it was a new area. This was the first private. Uh, television other than Ghana television and you That's also right. divided the society a lot of the young people were fascinated by your abrofusem and uh, the old people thought what's this British accent on Ghanaian TV what's your fond memories Amma? Oh it was an amazing time you know uh, it, it, those days it was either you loved me or you hated me and I remember I, I actually remember there was an article I think in one of the in a, a few of the newspapers do you remember those days they used to talk about Lafa the locally acquired foreign accent and um at the time, they thought I was Lafa, and it wasn't until they realized that I was actually born and raised outside. And um, my colleagues, my, my teammates, uh, Emma Morrison and um, Gabriel Boson Pim, and um, oh, Osei, very, very naughty Osei, they used to uh, give me the wrong information, you know, like uh, when, I was when I was preparing in the day, you know, in the daytime, we do our voiceovers and we prepare to get ready and read. And I would ask them names. I remember, I remember fondly, there was um, the name uh, Fachi. I was doing a story about Mr. Fachi. 
And um, coming from London, I had never seen K-Y-E, and um, I, I didn't know how to pronounce it. So I asked Gabriel and I asked, um, you know, or say that, how do I pronounce this name? And they said, oh, Fakihi. <laughs> you know, it's pronounced Fakihi. You can't pronounce Mr. Fakihi. Can you imagine? I was so embarrassed. I mean, next day, I think Ghana wanted to kill me, you know. So those are some of the fun memories. I mean, in the newsroom, when I came down, they were on their, I mean, they were holding their stomachs, laughing their heads. So these are some of the naughty things that they used to do and they used to take advantage. But, uh, very, very fond memories, but they can't get me like that now. If I was to come back now, they couldn't get me like that now. <laughs> what What can you uh, say about how TV3 has impacted this television industry? Because, you know, after TV3, there were many others. There was Metro TV, and there are now there are 19 or so television stations. And you've been in Ghana recently. I, I, I spoke to you when you were in Ghana recently, and you've looked at the industry. Uh, so how do you see it? How has TV3's effort impacted the industry? I think TV3 has actually started a whole new phenomenon of media in Ghana. You know, before TV3 came, as you said, you know, there was only a GBC at the time. And also, we also didn't have all the, you know, never mind about the, the, the free TV stations. We also didn't have the paid TV stations. So even though multi-choice and those uh, was around at the time, not many people were subscribing. So TV3, I think at the time, you know, they came with telenovela programs and, um, you know, they came and um, they, they, started, they started reporting about things that hadn't reported, been, been reported before, you know, and it was just this ma amazing phenomenon. And I think that um, they are definitely the leaders, you know, they were the leaders of the new era of media in Ghana. And not only that, but also, you know, globally, you know, 20 years ago, we couldn't have done this. I mean, I'm sitting right now in London, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm on holiday at the moment in London and I'm sitting here. And I'm speaking to you live in Ghana. We couldn't have done this 20 years ago. And um, again, um, it shows um, uh, just how TV3 are always the leaders. You know, globally, I've been looking at some of the messages that are coming through. People are watching from uh, Ohio. People are watching from Atlanta, from Germany. I'm, I'm talking to you from London. I mean, it's amazing. And to think that TV3 started all of this. And, uh, you know, before the, no the telenovela came, there was nothing like that. We didn't see anything from any other countries. We didn't see programs from other countries. All that we saw those days were documentaries. Documentaries, and I think um, we only saw Skippy. I think in those days, GBC was showing things like Skippy and things like that. So for, for TV3 to come now and bring telenovela and to even have a presenter like myself, that even though I am full Ghanaian, somebody, uh, you know, a, a, a citizen that was being, that has been born and raised outside, I think that's something that TV, that GBC wouldn't have encouraged uh, 20 years ago. They may do so now, but they certainly wouldn't have encouraged it 20 years ago. But TV3 um, uh, encouraged uh, someone like myself, um, a, boy, a, a Ghanaian that's been born and brought outside, and didn't see anything wrong with, with me actually contributing to the media in Ghana, which is amazing. And they, they just keep setting new standards, and they've done an amazing job. And um, I want to congratulate TV3, and they've done, they've done amazing. They're wonderful. They are the leaders and will always be the leaders. And um, I think the whole media industry in Ghana should be very grateful to them for their bold steps. We also have a lot of freedom of speech. And I think all these new innovations and these new attitudes towards media and towards um, media personalities, etc., was all started by TV3. And um, I think we, we have to accept that and um, own up to that and be thankful for that. Thank you very much, Ama. Thank you very much for your time and uh, happy 20th anniversary from all of us here in Ghana. Happy 20th anniversary. That was uh, Ama Dade. Yeah, that she's raising her hands there and giving us uh, the big high five. So um, she talked about telling novella, and I remember Acapulco. 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 And there was a power crisis in those days, Isa, you remember? Sure. And uh, Acapulco was such a big deal that people used to turn up from Tema yeah. to TV3 sure. offices yes. to want to see it because lights had gone off and they used to come all the way from Tema and yeah. Gabriel was asked to do a story about it. So he filmed this people and we had a news item mm -hmm. on it. I remember Issa read the news that time. People had turned up in TV3 to watch Acapulco Bay. That, that was phenomenal, Issa. Mm -hmm. Issa, perhaps you are the man. I mean, you are still yeah. in the seat. He, he's, all of us yeah. here have, have managed. We all left. Well, we, 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 we scooped back. We 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 you you have always exited, been in the seat. Exited, and exited. Why, why are you still in the seat, Issa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, surprisingly, when you were interviewing Ama, she mentioned my name. Yeah. It was Ama who leaked the information to me. TV3 was looking for 
people who could read the news. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> so she gave me the information, and I followed it up. And uh, well, we were picked. She read the first news, and I read the second one that very day. So. Mm. I, I always say, day. yeah, sure, sure. So, but, but so what, what when you when Israel used to come to the studio, I didn't know you were spying on me. <laughs> 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 <I've been even. laughs> but yeah, what, what has kept you 20 it, years? It's, it's, it's the passion, the love to do it to perfection, wanting to do it better than I do now. That is what is keeping me going. Yeah. And you've done amazingly well. <laughs> well, I sometimes look back and I see people like you and I say, yes, I still have gift of English. She's still in the middle. She hasn't left. She's just doing something separate. She could come back any time. <laughs> Gideon is always looking as young as ever, even though you can see some gray hair. Oh He's goodness, still looking fresh. An old and I love to see Paul on Metro TV on, you know, uh, Good Evening Good Ghana. Ghana. It's, fun, it's a fantastic but program. I think, I mean, I think, I think you guys it. did a good job. I mean, uh, you started yeah. all and some of us, you know, decided to, to also join. I think mm. uh, you, you did a good job. Henry, be honest. Henry, but Henry, do you, do you miss the kind of stories yes. that you used to do? Ah. Um, I remember them so well. <laughs> I do. I mean, it's more like <laughs> part of me now, my DNA. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 never, you never would want to, to, to just drop your gun at no. any point in time. No. You would. You would always you know, feel like... I mean, Gipsy, I think that this was I, mean, I, I cannot time. finish my story, Mr. Blake, I mean, the opportunity he gave me was, yeah. was shocking. I mean, we came here to do sports. The World Cup was over. He called me and said, would you like to read news? I, that never ever crossed my mind. And he said, go and see Azmi Atan. And, and there it was. So I'd like to use the opportunity to be very grateful to him, eternally grateful. And Just like and that. that. That really, that, just like that. No auditioning, nothing. Nothing. He said, I saw you on the World Cup. You want to read the news? Go and see Azmi Atan. He'll give you something to read if you do well. You see, you're a living yeah. legend. <laughs> <laughs> and it took people like Bear right. Feature to identify these talents.